Hi, my name is Judy. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the full moon. This isn't going to go really deeply into all the lunar cycles. I am still just beginning to dive into that myself. But I have, if you choose, a full moon yin yoga to follow this short talk. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about the full moon before you move into that practice. So the full moon is considered the end of the lunar cycle. We start with a new moon when you can't see the moon and it grows and it grows and it grows until it's a full moon. And my full moon in yoga practice plays on that, plays on the fullness, the fullness in your life, bringing in gratitude, thinking about the shapes we're making and how they relate to a full moon. So the fuller the moon gets, the fuller our feelings tend to get. People who are very sensitive to the moon may begin to feel very anxious around the full moon. And as we all know, some many things can happen around the full moon as well. So I began, you know, I, I've dabbled in this a little bit off and on, but I began going a little deeper into it uh, a few months ago. And it's part of a way for me to live more in sync with nature because nature's going to do what it's going to do no matter what you do. And if we fight it sometimes, we don't win. So anyway, back to the full moon. The full moon is about releasing and letting go, letting forgiving people in order to fulfill our dreams. So we can't move forward until we've put the past to rest. The good news, of course, is that the full moon comes around every month and occasionally twice a month. Um, the full moon is also about gratitude. Gratitude for what you have. Uh, if you set intentions during the new moon phase, perhaps gratitude for what you've manifested by the time the full moon sheds its full light on you. And it's also about feeling the fullness of life. I mean, it's a full moon. It shines brightly. It shines its light. It clears the way. If you ever been outside on a full moon night, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, it's like you don't need anything at all to walk around. I have this memory from camp. This is decades and decades ago. I went to a music camp. It was right above a lake and it was the end of the season. And we were having like a sing-along um, by the lake. And I, I just remember that full moon rising, that full moon shining on the lake and how beautiful it was. And this is a memory from about 40 years ago. Anyway, so just the other thing I wanted to tell you about the full moon, it's very yang. Um, that means we get more and more energy as the moon gets fuller and fuller. And at its fullest, we're kind of at the peak of our energy. So that's part of the whole living your life in sync with nature, where you can try and align with the lunar cycles, knowing that when you want to do something that's active, something that you need a lot of energy for, if you can, aligning it with around the full moon, that's going to work really well. If you try and do that sort of thing around the new moon, you may find yourself struggling. Now, I realize we can't always live our life around the new moon full moon. It just doesn't always work that way in modern life. But if you pay attention and if you can um arrange things sometimes that way you're going to find that in general your energy will be a little bit smoother um, it'll be a little easier to do the things you need to do 
And then when the new moon rolls around and you kind of relax and you digest and you set new intentions, as you live this life where you do that, you set the new intentions during the moon, moon, new moon, and it grows and it grows and gets fuller and fuller, then you're full of energy. Maybe you do something that requires a lot of energy around the full moon, and then it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, and your energy begins to wind, wind, wind down, but that's just a signal for you to relax, to go inside, to do the things that are more contemplative. Um, and you can get lots of apps online. I have a free app. I don't remember what the name of it is right now. I'll try to remember to link it up in the description box below. Lots of free apps that are going to show you what the phases of the moon are. Are I kind of like the one that I'm using. Um, not only does it show what the phases of the moon are, it shows what zodiac it's in, and I'm really just a newbie when it comes to all of that sort of thing. But it also shows things like sunset, sunrise. It will show cool things like the golden hour, which is like the best time to take photos. And the blue hour, which is another good time to take photos if you're taking the right kind of photos. Okay, so that's pretty much what I have to say about the full moon right now. As always, you know, as I continue to learn, I will continue to share my deepening knowledge. But I just wanted to give you a little insight about what the full moon is all about and i really hope that you practice the full moon yin yoga that follows this video and enjoy it and if you do go ahead like this video subscribe to my channel so much love so much gratitude to you all